If I have enough time, I'll change the world. Meet Chris Rossati. In 2010, he was diagnosed with ALS, a disease that would slowly rob him of his ability to move, speak, or even breathe. But instead of focusing on what ALS took away from him, Chris decided to focus on what he could give to the world. Chris Rossati was a successful businessman and a loving father. He had it all, an amazing family, a thriving career, and dreams for the future. But his world changed in 2010 when doctors told him he had ALS, a progressive neurodegenerative disease. He was given two to five years to live. The prognosis was devastating. Most people would have focused on their bucket list, perhaps traveled, or tried to complete unfinished goals. But Chris, he wanted to leave behind something else. One day, Chris had a funny thought. He wanted to hijack a Krispy Kreme truck and give away free donuts to strangers. But it wasn't just a joke to him. It was a way to spread happiness to as many people as possible. I knew I wouldn't get a job, but at least then I could say when they arrested me, hey man, I applied. What Fine. do you mean when they arrested you? Then the next step is you try to steal a truck and then just go around and give away the donuts. When the Krispy Kreme company found out about his wish, they did something incredible. They gave him a truck packed full of donuts and told him to have fun. Chris called it the Donut Run. That day, Chris drove through his hometown of Durham, North Carolina, stopping at parks, schools, and random places just to hand out free donuts. For Chris, this was more than just a fun day. He wanted people to realize that even the smallest act of kindness could make a difference. Word about Chris's donut run quickly spread. News outlets across the country picked up his story, and soon it went viral. But what happened next surprised even Chris. Chris Rosati's simple act of kindness didn't just touch the hearts of people in his town. It inspired people around the world. Thousands of people from North Carolina to Japan started doing their own random acts of kindness in Chris's name. Schools started programs. Strangers helped each other out and social media exploded with stories of giving. All started by a man who was losing his ability to walk, talk, and even breathe, but who never lost his ability to give. Among the thousands of people touched by Chris's kindness were two young girls from Sierra Leone. Inspired by Chris' donut giveaway, the girls wanted to do something similar in their community. They used what little money they had to buy rice food for children in need in their village. They wrote Chris a letter explaining how his kindness had inspired them to give. Chris Rossati passed away in 2017, but his message of kindness lives on. Schools and organizations continue to honor him with annual Rossati Kindness Days, encouraging students to perform acts of kindness in their communities. The ripple effect of Chris's life, starting with one small dream of giving away donuts, has spread across the globe, touching the hearts of thousands and reminding us all of the power of giving. Be kind, spread hope. You never know how far a small act of kindness can go. I want to thank you again for everything one last time. I'll die Tuesday. Keep living the dream. I got a thousand donuts on the bus. <laughs> I want to be able to articulate what I know. If I have enough time, I'll change the world. He tried to make friends with the world. Yeah. I 
thing, it's hard to do that. Mm. So I'm proud of him.